everyone and welcome back to webgenie in today's video we are going to create a simple countdown timer using angular so in this project i have already created a new angular project called countdown timer and created a component in this uh, as countdown timer and here we are using angular mat so you need to install these unfortunately i don't have the clips of installing these so let us go to the countdown timer html uh, page in that i am creating a division called mat elevation and uh, h1 tag countdown timer and there is a mat card which we are using here so in this mat card in the first section we will display the time as format in a formatted way in a digital way and after that uh, there will be a button uh, there will be two buttons one is to pause and restart and another is to reset so the pause button i am giving a color blue and once you click on it a toggle timer a method will be triggered which we are going to add in our typescript so there will be two options pause or restart which will toggle so if it is pause restart will be displayed and once you click on restart the text will change to pause now let us open the app module here we have to uh, add mat card and mat button so in the import section add mat card module and mat button module and import the links so there was a typo here that uh, that is now the errors are gone only error remaining are the methods which are yet to be declared in our typescript page so let us create one more button uh, the color of this is accent and once you click on this the restart should be triggered reset will be triggered so this is what we have in our html page now let us do some styling so open the css page and in the mat card i am adding a maximum width of 400 pixels a margin of 220 pixels and text align to the center for the digital clock i am adding a font size of 2 em font family the default one courier new margin 5 pixels and button for the buttons i am adding a margin of 10 pixels and padding 5 pixels and for the h1 a mar a margin of 20 pixels so this is what we have in in our css now let us go to the typescript page here i am going to implement the on in it so once we implement this we have to uh implement the interface so up click on the quick fix and the on ng on it method will be triggered adding at output a countdown uh, finished as a new event emitter now um 
creating a variable called seconds and initializing it to 60 a timer variable of type any and time running of boolean and which is made default as true now in creating a constructor here and in the ng on init method we will call the start timer so first let us create the start timer method so what this method does is uh, it will be setting an interval so i am calling the set interval method and if the seconds is 0 again the timer will start the interval will be cleared and countdown finished uh, event handler will be emitted so this is what we have in our start timer method and we are calling this dot start timer in the ng on end now we have a toggle timer method which we have called in our html so if this uh, dot time running if time running is currently on clear interval method will be called otherwise start timer will be called so this is what we have in our toggle timer toggle timer method now uh, we have we also have a reset button so for that we will write the reset timer method which which is called in our html page again and here i am calling a clear timer method and um, the sec once the timer is resetted the seconds will be 60 time running is again made to true and the this dot start timer method is triggered and we have a format timer for we have to format our time in a digital way so first the minutes will come and followed by a colon then the seconds should be displayed so we will create a variable called uh, minutes uh, which is of type number and we will calculate that by uh, dividing the seconds by 60 and remaining seconds we will display as seconds itself now the formatted minutes is so we will create another method called a uh, pad number this accept a number and return a num a return a string so uh, it will if the number is less than 10 it displays the number itself otherwise it it should be displaying as number colon number so minute colon seconds in that way it should be displayed if the number is less than uh, 10 uh, the number will be, should be displayed as a zero otherwise the number can be dis if it is two digit the number can be displayed as it is that is what we have in the pad number method so we will create two constants formatted minutes and formatted seconds and what it returns is minutes uh, followed by seconds now let us call this in our app component so the selector we are calling inside our app component html 
and now let us cre uh, create a new terminal and type ng serve to write, uh, run this code. has compiled successfully and uh, I found a typo mistake in our HTML so in the button class it should be mat race button and the color property uh, color attribute should be added here color equal to accent now let us save this so we got two methods and if I pause and restart uh, the countdown timer will start and if I restart it will be restarted again anything from this video and if you enjoyed watching it please give this video a thumbs up if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will receive all of my future videos see you again in the